All right, go ahead and roll it. I'm gonna say it. I'm having fun. I'm kind of having a good time. Dude, I'm gonna say it. This fucking rules, it man. Does. It, it does. does. It's kind of lit, dude. I love it. Let's do some more rides, dude. Yeah. Let's have some fucking fun, dude. Let's go, dude. I was wrong. It's like nothing to do here. Christopher Cross bailed. I give up. I'm just really fucking upset, man. Just wanted to come get my soul on. Fucking ace best. Why does it have to be so fun? I'm just, having like a great I know, time. I'm like, having a really good time. I gotta be honest, I'm impressed. It's yeah. starting to cool off. It's Kinda great. Hey guys. Awesome. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, what's up, Zach? Hey. How's it going? Uh, it's going really good, actually. We're having a great time. How's the Soul Festival? Yeah, how's Soul okay. Festival? Uh, it's not great. Not great. Can, can I come over there? Yeah, I thought the Soul and the Soul Fest was going to be so fucking no, cool. Chris, Christopher Cross failed, dude. I've had my fun here. I want to come to Ace Fest. Are you Ace Gang? Because we are. Dude, I fuck with Austin, man. He's my homie. I'm hype yeah. as fuck. You guys suck. Let me in. Your outfit's kind of giving Predator. You know, I'm Your like outfit's kind of giving... giving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, Zach. You can come over, but you gotta button up that shirt. Never. Okay, you can well, die. Wait, 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 okay. I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. All right, get your ass I'm over. already severely sunburned, so the lobster V has already taken effect. So I'll, I'll, I'll button up. Uh, about seven people have told us that there's a hole in the fence over there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah I just kind of sneak in. I kind of, okay. All right. This is awesome. I love the Ace Fest. I love Ace Fest. The view of Palmdale is fantastic up there. Yes. Lancaster. Well, beautiful today. He's bumping Cam. Maybe he's the one bumping Cam now. I feel like David Dobrik on an excavator, dude. David, slow down! Fuck, big the ball, dude! Oasis of Paradise here at Ace Family Festival. I'm really quick. I love you guys. I love you too. I love you guys. 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 I love
Sam's been waiting in line for like an hour at least. And that's where All right, so now we're going up to the the meet and greet. Mm -hmm. So, but it turns out the fest Ace Fest was fucking awesome. You guys had a great time. It was it was a, legit. It was a blast. It <laughs> turns out that uh, a giant carnival with a bunch of rides that are all free and a bunch of games no line with almost no one there. Dude. Is like a really fucking good time. It was a good day. <laughs> so, by the way, someone asked. So, um, Lil Lily Perez asked, "Did you all have to pay for activities and games, or were they separate or included in ticket price?" All included. All included. The games were free. Isn't that a great? You could play the carnival games, games and they had prizes. Yeah, there were prizes, yeah. and you could just keep playing as much as you wanted. And the rides had no lines. No lines. No lines. And they were free. And they looked fun as fuck, dude. That first one where it was spinning <gasps> fast yeah. looked gnarly. Awesome. No, bro, you. I, I really thought I was gonna die. <laughs> that that was so though. crazy. Point, I right? I very often go on roller coasters. I love that was the scariest thing I've ever done. They would like they slowly brought us <laughs> upside down, and it we only awesome. had this thing, oh, and they brought us all the way to the top, <clears throat> and we they just had us hanging there. Oh, and I God. I thought I was gonna fall out head first. Didn't oh. you, Olivia? Didn't you lose something out of your pocket too? I thought I thought that I had dropped oh, okay. something. Olivia had no reservations about it. She's just like. I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah, I really, I made that choice quick. And then on the swing ride, apparently AB was swinging wildly. You were able to kick the person in front <laughs> okay, of you. That's kind of nice. Dan, Dan was sitting behind me. I thought he was fucking with me. And then like when I was like, I was going like this. I'm like, oh, that, Dan wouldn't be doing that. Like no, because that I was starting to really the get standard scared. spacing. You know, it, it Lots I wouldn't of space. have been, I wouldn't have been able to reach out and kick you. No, you're you just got the cursed chair. And it started it was, like swinging wildly, like in a circle. Yeah. Right yeah. In my and it and you were slamming into me, and then slamming. <laughs> yeah, into it would yeah. kind of pull my whole body forward like this. And then it, it were you scared? I, oh, I was. I was. I was scared. Definitely. You oh, could tell was, the guy with the controls when whenever we would pass him, I saw he was just smiling. Was <laughs> he, he like loved that we were so scared. Uh, I had I had fun, but I'm a little sour about the summer of soul, dude. Yeah, and then so what's funny is. The Summer of Soul Fest, which we thought they were going to be ripping from, actually sucked Complete a garbage. donut. Like in the, 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 most, <laughs> the most pathetic How, yeah. thing I have ever seen yeah. in my life. Tell me about Summer of Soul, Zach. Um, well, uh, <coughs> on the ad, it was supposed to be like live music, and then like a they put it a lowrider competition, but there were like three cars in the parking lot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And like no one was in the food trucks. The food was, trucks were unoccupied. They were unoccupied. It was just a weird vibe, and there were we saw other tweakers in there. Oh shit! It was hot, and Christopher Cross tribute band bailed. So, and they act the the tribute band actually okay okay. He's making and it. was there free water there? Uh no, not yes. Yeah, so at the there. Ace Fest, they had free water stations. Free water throughout the park. Yeah, free dude. water and bubble different. water too. Yeah. And bubble sta water. stations to sit down under like shade to eat, bunch of tables. Wait, yeah. you said they had bubble water? I mean, I mean bubble. bubbler. Is it out of like a filtered bubbler? I meant they had a filter bubble water? Not bubble water. <laughs> bubble water. It, it was still it was tap. Bubble water. <clears throat> so in the end, <clears throat> they pulled it off. And I have to say it's super impressive to me. That they actually, I still don't understand the economics. I don't know how much money they made. Dan has don donned his Ace Family hat. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I got mine, right? And this was the most uh, uh, shocking outcome. The guys were telling me I was with Theodore, sick with COVID, and then the guys they were sending me updates in the in our group chat of just how much fun they were having. It was so interesting <laughs> to see it go down. Yeah, I also have to say, Sam and I, we were at the glitter tattoo station, and we talked to one of the girls who worked there. Was it free? Uh, yeah, it was, it was free. free. Oh shit! And she said that that small business has like consistently been employed by the Ace family. Dude. Which was, I gotta say, that's cool. And like their boss had met Catherine and everything. So here's what I'm thinking. Um. Someone's saying it was low-key a scam, though. I don't actually think it was a scam at all, was it? I don't think so. I mean, promises made, promises kept. No. Well, well we, should, we should do a full assessment at the end of the video because there, there is still a few details to be included. But I would say 
mixed mixed bag. Yeah. It wasn't a scam though. I mean, scam is probably too far, but I mean, they did was it was it Disneyland meets Coachella? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Were there live performers? I guess if you count the DJs as that, I guess they're performing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like live performance <laughs> sort of indicates to people like a band or something like that but whatever and then they did say uh wild animals and yeah that there that was one, no animals there was <laughs> no and wild. to be honest and to be honest about that i'm kind of glad there wasn't me too uh, animals in that heat oh my god I feel oh, horrible. 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 Poor animals. yeah that's a good point yeah yeah those poor animals i feel so validated shout out to the chat why do you feel validated <laughs> because i predicted it you s predicted it would be a banger no, no, I said I, I would work out. No one could explain how, but it would work out and be fine. And everybody's like, Amy's a soon. Mm. I don't know what the hell they were saying, but. <laughs> You've been hurt. holding on to that. I have. Yeah. I'm very satisfied. Me and Austin are actually boys now, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's hey. coming up. Um, so, anyway, um, listen, but again, it was 500 bucks for you guys all to go. So yeah, it's $100 it a ticket. Expensive. It's a very expensive uh, county carnival. But, guys, yeah. essentially don't, don't what it was. Look at this. Right, and I guess that is the that's point. Serious, that's a serious we paid, cardboard. We paid hundred dollars for the VIP tickets because we are very important people. <laughs> um, do, how much were just like the regular tickets? Like if you showed up at the day, like, I well, thought it was a hundred bucks. Hundred twenty. Yeah, hundred twenty. No, that's what I we think. paid for the VIP. So the regular tickets. Oh, Cam said oh. the normal ticket to get in was hundred twenty. We paid, I think, four ninety nine. Right, Sam. For five tickets, yeah. She's saying yeah. Right for the five ticket package, that was the VIP package. That's right, what I'm saying. The hundred. I thought it was a hundred bucks for one ticket. They sold one ticket, mm -hmm. hundred bucks. Whatever. It I was, guess I'm just yeah. asking if there was like a lower tier ticket that didn't get I don't you think the so. VIP uh, meet and greet experience or whatever. There were singles that I think were like one twenty or something like that. Yeah. That, yeah. that were not VIP. No, they, so they were more expensive. Dude, it was not. <laughs> it was a hundred bucks per ticket. Was the cheapest. Yeah, I think so. And then there was something for. Oh yeah, I think you're right. And I think those were sold out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. By the time I checked again, but then there I was a two ninety nine that was three tickets or. Something. Well, the funny thing about this Disney versus Coachella thing is like, once again, near Disneyland, there's this theme park called um, Adventureland, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is like twenty five dollars per ticket, and it's like that times four. So obviously, but like if you're a fan of Ace Family. Well, that was what I was going to try and say is the VIP ticket got you the meet and greet. So if you're a fan, <laughs> like how do you judge the dollar value of getting to meet somebody that you're a fan of? Uh, you know, that plus the carnival. I will also argue. say that if you go to Adventureland, you have to pay for the, the carnival rides or the, the carnival games. Mm -hmm. I will say it was mm -hmm. kind of trippy to be doing like typical carnival stuff you know throw a ring or talk normally you have to dole out these tickets mm -hmm. and you can just do it once and then you got to keep buying tickets we would just miss the thing and go G hey give it that's and, awesome and no one was there that's so awesome we, we were just playing the games you could do it as long as you wanted so mm -hmm. did you guys all win or was it even impossible to win that shit uh, for free ian won he won that the thing that ian's wearing, wearing right yeah, now yeah yeah i won uh, this it's a, like a hoodie uh <laughs> tote bag, bag but i, I do yeah. need to say he didn't need a second try he hit that on his first try Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is that you right? What game was that on? That's yeah, the basketball. The basketball. It's in the start of the video too. But also, it was really nice. There was a bunch of families there, like walking around, and that's primarily what happy. it was. It was yeah, look yeah. happy. We we were. <laughs> that's what we realized shortly after getting there, because we had like made jokes of like you kept saying like, "Oh man, this is like a predator's paradise or whatever." <laughs> uh, going to the. Like, we're walking around like, we're the fucking weirdos. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> like, we're the people without kids. Def Noodles was the weird guy by himself. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, it got But it was families him. happily having fun. They seem yeah. to yep. be enjoying that. And the know. food. The food was great. All the food I had is reasonably yeah. good price. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys said the food trucks were off the Oh, chart. they were, like, actually really good food trucks mm -hmm. there, yeah. That pretzel place was good. Yeah. yeah. I do also want to say to thank um, um, uh, Dan... King shit Dan for a hundred gifted subs. Oh my out God. of control. Thank you, bro. This is insane. This man has to be king, annoying, king or queen. We're gonna and have to reach whoever you are, reach out. We got we gotta talk. We gotta talk. He has this. to be an oiler, I think. An oiler? He might be a yeah. juicer. You think, <laughs> nah, you he's, think an oiler, he's an oil baron? 
Yeah, he's an oil uh, prince or something. I think. <laughs> right, right. Or he just steals credit cards and then they charge back. Sure, sure. That's <laughs> cool. I saw somebody chat ask if there was free food. I don't think that was ever advertised. No, not was, free food. The food was not free. Yeah, but it was like regular price. It wasn't overpriced. Yeah. What it was. Now, I have to say, uh, it was 120 at the door to get in, not VIP. Atosi said that he had to pay for water at the water station. No, there is no. 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 Love, that's that. The, where did you see that, love? That he had to pay for Shut. water? Oh, so a, what you guys saw contradicts that, at least as far as when you guys went to get water, there, were there was no. Multiple, oh, there were just multiple. It was a water, water jug with cups. Yeah, it was water coolers, and yeah. there was the cups, and it was, and they were, there was a dude there that all day was coming and pouring ice into it. He would like take off the yep. jug and pour a big bag ice of ice water. water. So it was ice water. Yep. I hit that multiple it, times. Yep. The day I, I kept hitting it. Yeah. It was full. There was yeah, a couple there were, there. Mist, there were misters, too, in some parts. Yeah. I got to say, the ice is a nice touch. They could have just served your ass hot water. I thought so, too. I thought so, too. <laughs> so, okay, let's... So, obviously, it's expensive, right? Um, but let's let's continue, then. Um, someone said they advertise free food. I don't think so. I don't ever recall I mean, that. If you actually know that for a fact, send it to us because I mean that would be that would be another check mark in the in the scam column if they right. advertise free food. But I, I don't I don't, I don't think I ever saw free that. Food, but could be wrong about that. So anyway, let's continue on to the um now the uh let's continue on to the meet and greet part, which I think you guys will notice looks a lot like a FEMA emergency <laughs> center. It's giving me a theme yeah. of emergency vibe. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, here it is. Check it out. Next part two. Sam's been waiting in line for like an hour at least. And that's where she is. This is the end of the line right here. The Ace family is taking the time. Meet people. Very thoughtful. Kings, legends, kings and queens. Alert. Excuse me, are, are you Sam from H3? Uh, you guys, you made it far. You're like still at the end of the line. Something but just not- happened like 10 minutes ago and everyone was like screaming and cheering and people were like putting, pulling their phones out. I don't know. Zach Lewis walked by. Oh, that's probably what it was. All these drama channels are trying to paint this as Astro World. Wrong. Wrong. It's it's seven o'clock. You'd assume they would start being like, hey, that's great. Nice to meet you. Leave. Not the Ace family. They <laughs> want to know your origin story, where you're born. How you grew up, childhood friends, what you had for lunch. They want to know all of it. That's the type of experience you're going to get. I care about the fans. I'm yeah. so excited to tell them. We're here with Dennis, the legend, Def Noodles. Shut up, how you doing? We need to know, how is your ace experience? It's been absolutely amazing. The greatest experience of my life. They gave me a scarf. Let's it's, go. It's 100 degrees outside and I got a scarf. Oh. It's, it's good. It's good That's quality. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Is that Gucci? It's Gucci, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and you're waiting to meet the legends oh, yeah. themselves? I, this is like the greatest moment of my life. This is going to be the apex of everything. It's, it's converging to this moment, so I can't wait. So you're official ace fan. Official ace fan fan. I'm literally a part of the cult. Ace fam for life. Ace fam for life. life. Let's go. (laughs) We're so close. Getting kind of nervous. I'm very nervous. Butterflies. I'm more nervous than walking into the greater class somehow. Festival is so great. We have so much fun. It's a really good event. So thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks guys. Okay, okay. great, perfect. Okay. We did it. Hundred bucks. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. How'd it go? Great. Did it you meet the legends? Everything I dreamed of. I got this autograph. Look at this. I gotta sell this bad boy before I leave. Their autograph. This is mine, bro. Bro. <laughs> Yeah, let me get it. No. Hey, let me give that shit. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Honestly, I love that. The nicest people I've ever met. I'm down with the fam now, like for real. Fam for life, bro. Fam for life. Let's go. Ace fam, All right. All right, all right. I need some rhythm. We are, we are Ace fam. Let's do 
are. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Stop! Oh. All right, guys. How are we feeling? It's Woo! Another time on my life. This is the time of my life. Beautiful sunset. I had a blast. It's the time of my life. And I know it only only is is family. Family. Scam, scam, shit. No. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> yeah. That was not a scam. In reality, we got a good money's worth for our ticket prices today. In reality, you got fam. In reality, I had a great time. <laughs> You have it, guys. Uh, the most un unexpected outcome. What a twist! In reality, you got fammed, as Ian said. That's right. And first of all, I think you guys all did such a great job. Thank you guys all for going out there. It's so cool. And I'll say, um, you know, I'm actually glad you guys had fun. I, I, it was nice that you guys went out there and had a good time. Mm -hmm. So, so, um, <sighs> thank you for dinner, by the way. Would you say that? Oh, oh and yeah. Ethan covered dinner. Yeah, That's you, right. Yeah, everyone got enjoyed red lobster. <laughs> red lobster. Oh, yeah. how, how was the meal, by the way? I've never been there. There was like almost nothing for me to eat, so I just got salad. But everybody else seemed to really enjoy it. Oh, their biscuits are fucking. Yeah, did fire, you hit though. the biscuits? The biscuits. Did you guys eat lobster and shit? Did you though. get all fucking crazy? On I ate like a king. I'm not gonna lie. What did you get? I got like the three course meal thing. It's like a little bit of everything. How much? How oh, much yeah. was the bill? How much does red lobster cost? <laughs> don't don't worry about it. Don't don't look at the credit. I want to know how much it was. Statement. Tell me yeah, how much it was. I, I, I ordered before you said before I uh, it's, it's, listen. It's yeah, okay. actually, I, I'm just curious. How much does red lobster cost? It was hundred and eleven dollars for all of us to eat. That's nothing. Yeah, that's not Are you fucking kidding yeah. me? That's insane. I was just I was razzing you. What the hell? That's nuts. Well, it's because uh, it if he's bullshit. not lying, we we weren't expecting you to pay for it, and then. You asked if we needed to be reimbursed for anything. I was like, well, we're at dinner right now. You want to cover dinner? And you were like, yeah, of course. Put it on the card. So if we had known that before, Dude, we, we gone, might have gone a little bit more all out. Well, that 111 bucks for like, what, five people? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah pretty good. God, fucking Red Lobster. Let's go. That's hella cheap. <laughs> um, well, anyway, good job, everybody. That was awesome. So what was a better deal, Red Lobster or Ace Fest? Mm, probably Red Lobster. <laughs> Red Lobster. I'm yeah, being honest. Better, yeah. yeah, that sounds good. I mean, so, the they had the biscuits. Which, so let me ask you this, yeah. Dan. You were hesitant to say. I said, it, I don't think you guys were scammed at all. Are you? Why were you hesitant to? Well, because they promised things for the event that weren't there. I mean, you, you know, we got to be balanced here, and so they did. I, I, I know they up kept updating the flyer right like here's the uh yeah i have it right here uh mod mega awesome sent it to me a moment ago but somebody had posted this to the sub but yeah seeing it like the things slowly get removed i mean we bought when it was this or i'm sorry well, so wait oh wait they rides. added stuff and then subtracted it so wait they say free rides free games free prizes free performances so that one was actually true if you say DJs as performances, which uh, technically yeah. I think that would make sense. You guys can right. suck a fat donut. Okay. It's a, bit, a little misleading, but it works. Then they go free rides, free games, free prizes, access to free wildlife. Yeah, that did access to free. I think it says park, wildlife park, which is strange <laughs> wording. Yeah, there was nothing of the sort. So, then, you know, if you want to call that a scam, that yeah, that's definitely. And then the you know. final uh, one is free rides, free games, free prizes. Yeah. Which all of those, all of those did exist. So you know they delivered on three out of the five uh, bullet points here. I don't think it was a scam. I, I don't. I don't think so. I, I mean, the, yeah. it was misleading. Yeah. It's false advertising here a little bit. Yeah. You know? But also, it's for their fan base, like you said. Like it's different. If you're a fan, you I feel like you're getting more than your money. <laughs> That's worth. the thing. Yeah. And like I said, I mean, their fans were there. They seem to be having a good times. Their fans, by the way, are exactly what I thought they were. It was a lot of. Young families, like not just the kids being young, but like the parents young, you know, people that had kids in like their early to mid 20s. And now their kids are, I guess, around the age that the Ace family's kids are or whatever. And, you know, it's definitely not my scene, but I guess they, they find them relatable or, they're, you know, they they're they're like us, but but glamorous, you know, but they have money and they aspire to 
be like them, whether or not that's a good yeah. thing or not. So that's that's who likes them. That's who is there. And uh, yeah, I mean, for an event for kids, it it was it was fine. It was fine. I would have voted like based on our poll, our four ratings there of scam, shit, mid, or best time of our life. It was mid. No, it yeah. was definitely it best was time of your life. <laughs> and I want. Okay, but that's my. Did you guys not I, I see how it, you ended that video? Well, we were hamming it up. No, no, no. <laughs> we did have a good time. I don't want to say so, any specific channel names, but a lot of people are completely full of shit. I'll just say that a lot of the pictures taken were strategically taken. <laughs> they were a lot of the commentary channels came super early before anyone else got there. They were showing empty, like it's empty, it's deserted. Right, and I could have yep. taken similar <laughs> pictures, but it'd have to be intentional. What were some of the, the the falsehoods that are being said on other drama channels? I haven't kept up, but just, you know, like, I think someone said something about water and about how it's just empty in general. They're saying people are being charged for water. That wasn't true. That it's empty. That wasn't true. Yeah. Well, people really wanted to draw this conclusion that Ace Fest was going to be a total scam shit mm. show. I mean, we literally went there with that narrative. In yeah. yeah. Yep. We had to change it up halfway through. We, yeah. yeah like, we we were to... walking around and we were like, we started to have a conversation, not on camera. We kind of recreated on camera. Mm -hmm. But that, you know, a less dramatized version of what you saw in that video basically happened where I think Olivia was the one to break the ice. She was like, guys, I'm kind of having a good time. I started taking um, a forgiveness sympathy vlog. Because I was like, I don't know if I can stand by whatever narrative we're going to do. Does there you go? I mean, my goodness. And and again, I don't even under I don't even know how much money they made from this because that looked it looked expensive, right? To put all that there. Yeah, I saw yeah. somebody make a donation a little bit ago. I I don't. We'll have to look into this, but apparently somebody did some digging and they're claiming that they their expenses were twenty five grand. Impossible. Flat, which to me seems impossible. exceptionally low. No, However, no, no, that's impossible. I I, I kind of agree. Uh, I don't know what investigation was done so i mean maybe we can look into it but that that seems like a stretch i feel like the expenses had to be more than 20 Dude, grand. hundreds of thousands there's yeah. no fucking way yeah. do you know how much work it is just to bring those rides out and assemble them mm -hmm. yep. like that's insane right yeah and generally with those carnivals <laughs> you know um when they're charging for the games and everything you can get them for very cheap or even for free because they just take they make their money by the carnival game mm -hmm, and exactly uh, but because it was free and all the rides were free and everything they had to have paid them to be there so you know well someone said to be fair my city carnival looks just like that yeah no i agree but yeah, it was saying small okay, town but, but fair vibes they, they did it imagine your city carnival but ethan and Eli are there that's you know what i mean that's what it's for like you would definitely pay that most people Someone said insurance liability had to be at least 25K. 100%. Right, like yeah. Huge that's liability. The insurance I'm just saying, guys, that, 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 that's crazy event to put on, man. I mean, I've put on stuff like that on a much smaller scale. It's super fucking expensive, dude. Yeah. Um, but there you have it, you know? There was a speculation that they had a connect <coughs> that venue, which would kind of explain. What venue? Like the place in Lancaster or Palmdale or whatever. They, um, all, they did it because it's cheap. I mean, I agree, but maybe it was even extra cheap i mean that would explain because like why do yeah. it in fucking palmdale because like, it's cheap as fuck yeah bro. for sure but if you can't as fuck means free or like barely anything because if you, you tried to do that it. if you got a lot that big anywhere closer to la than fucking lancaster it would cost like you know a hundred thousand yeah. dollars yeah more. usually i will say next year though Summer of Soul better step up their game, man. Summer's I don't soul. think there's going to yeah. be a Summer of Soul next year. You should suck. Yeah. Shit, dude. <laughs> what if uh, Austin scammed the event and the carnival people instead of the fans? Oh. Yeah, oh, oh, oh that's so interesting. That. Well, better them than than the fans, I guess. I definitely agree. Uh, with that. Yeah. I mean, well, let's see if there's a lawsuit I would proceeding. Because <laughs> yeah. I hope nobody got scammed. That's a funny uh, thought. Yeah, that love. is funny. Love. Checks in the yeah. mail. <laughs> I will say to their credit too, when they were doing the meet and greet, they were doing it for like what eight hours, nine oh hours, God, and yeah. they like gave their all to every person that came up to see. Their full energy, dude. That's hard. I, yeah, I do oh, not know how they because I I've done meet and greets for like four or five hours. I don't know how much, but it is so hard, man. I mean, just really, really, really hard. That's that's actually another thing I wanted to address too. I saw online that people were saying that. People were being shooed away from the meet and greet, but they made a big announcement saying that now is the time, last call to 
get in before we shut off the meet and greet yep. uh, session. <coughs> and everybody that was in the building at that time got to see them. That's cool. Yeah. Some of the exciting proposals said I took a deep dive into it and it was 15K. No, I'm sorry, bro, but that's just not possible. You're also being subpoenaed for. Dude, he has 5%. private. It, it would cost 50,000. No, I'm sorry, dude. It's just not possible. I'm really sorry. I just. It's just not possible. It was a weird phenomenon. I just felt like I was part of the family being there. And I didn't even notice what I did when I was like, gave Austin like the. Dude, that you shit. Know? You dabbed him up. <laughs> it was so, I, so funny. This, <coughs> funny. This is what's so funny. <laughs> so, me, Sam, and Ian were in there taking the photo. And then we drove to the restaurant separately. And in my car was me, Dan, and Cam. And I'm explaining to them how Ian was a legend, how he turned around and he got that video. And they probably thought Ian was a creep. And I'm describing it. We're cracking up. And then, like, as we're pulling to the to the restaurant, I'm telling Dan, well, you know what? I don't know why the fuck I went like this to him. And then Dan started dying laughing. I realized, oh, holy shit, that is fucking weird. Why did I? You dabbed him up like yeah, that old homie. Yeah, like I'm yeah, like my whole life. You guys have I was like, holy shit. That and festival. he greeted you, right? Oh, yeah. He, he, yeah, he yeah. matched yeah. that, he matched that energy. energy. Random he matched as it. fuck. Catherine def <laughs> definitely thought I wanted to turn her into a lampshade or something. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> why? Well. We walked up and right we had a whole plan of how we were going to shoot it. And right before they, they told Sam, you got to turn your camera off. No cameras. Maybe, I don't know why, Dennis, Def, went a few people right before us. He was right in front of us in line. I don't know. <coughs> and he had a little bit of an interaction with them. Maybe that's why they were having people shut off their cameras. Yeah, maybe. Probably. But, so he was like, photo only. And then I was like, well, we need a, vi we need a video. And so as we were leaving, I like pulled up my phone quick. And I was like... Hey, Catherine. And <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. Oh, my God. Damn, you did good work, though. Yeah, he that did. was awesome. You did and that. In the video, you see me hug Ian as he walks away. It's because Ian has shaky hands like me. And so he was like holding his oh, she phone. Was scared yeah, as and I like, I embraced him as a shaky handed saying, brother. Yeah. I you were saying, just... like, we had this like dawning realization throughout the day that it's like, here's Ian, like, a guy that looks like he's like around 30 by himself, by himself. So shaking like crazy. Like, I'm so, I'm so excited to meet you. And guys. I decked like, out an ace merch. I had this and the shirt and all. Yeah, it's like, oh, we're, we're, we were the freaks. Yeah, you transformed, definitely. dude. You both became different people when you met Catherine and Austin. Yeah. <laughs> they How'd they look in person, by friend? the way? Did Austin look, did they look good? They look good, but I thought Austin would be taller. He's a little short guy, huh? Not Sam short. talked to uh, Sam talked to Catherine for a bit too. Oh, you chatted up Catherine? Catherine looked amazing. Really? Yeah, like in person, she looks just like her pictures. Wait, did you know that she dated Michael B. Jordan? I didn't How know that. fucking I weird it. is that? That was so crazy. We, we knew that. I think that was maybe mentioned in the contest. I didn't board. know that. She dated Michael B. Jordan before Ace, before Austin. What a step down, bro. Also, she dated like sexiest whoa, 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 man in the whoa, world. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just okay. saying, bro, he won yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hold on. Michael on, B. Dude. Jordan won sexiest man of the yeah, year last yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Austin yeah. McBroom rock. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying, dude, <laughs> that's that's crazy. You gotta you gotta meet him. Meet Austin before you talk, please. So he was a stud? You'll understand. Yeah. Zach, does he yeah. fuck? <laughs> Zach in the bathroom or something? No. I, I went. Why won't you say if he fucks or not? I, uh, okay, Be he honest. fucks. He fucks, yeah. He, he fucks. fucks. He, fucks. Dude. he fucks. He fucks. He was wearing a watch that fucked. I'll give, it, I'll give him that. What color? Did he have a rolly on? No, it was a diamond AP. It, it, it fucks. He fucks. He fucks. All right, thank <laughs> you. That's all I wanted to know. By the way, here's one of these posters. So it says Ace Fest Pass. That We got the VIP, so it says... Five tickets, access, free autograph poster, which we got. Guaranteed to meet and take pictures, which happened. So now you guys get Austin's next fight for free. That's really interesting. Sure do. I got the, so, the piece of paper that I, gives us a... I thought they'd be streaming it there for some reason. I don't know why. But when we were getting the wristbands at the thing, they're like, oh, here's a piece of paper to get 20... What was it? 20 for... 20 for 20% off the fight, or what was... No, no, wait, no, it's a free, no, free. It is. What was 20% off, then? It was if you, it was 20% off if you want to uh, get a ticket to go see it in person. That's what it was. Okay. Oh, you guys got a free, like, streaming, streaming key? Yeah. It's a pay-per-view okay. event. Okay, so, okay. So everybody that was there got a flyer okay. with a QR code for a free stream. That's dope. Thing or whatever. Also, what about the wedding? Yeah, I was just saying wedding gift. I I'm mean, crossing my fingers, We guys. We left before they did go. the raffle. We messed up. Yeah, they did the raffle... 
after we left. So. What kind of stuff were they giving away? None of the raffle. They were giving for away tickets. access to their wedding. Oh, Attendance to their wedding. You, you guys could have been front row. Oh. And <laughs> access to the fight too. Right, right. But I hope I hope they see this and they're like, oh shit, somebody actually is telling it like it is. Yes. Ace Fest was a bop. We're giving it to people straight. Yep. Well, yep. we're the real art <laughs> Now, does this call into question any of our other, other assumptions about the Ace family? Mm. I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> like on the level of like, is, just not... a, is Austin new bestie? No, 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 no. <laughs> Let, why don't we call no, no, it, no, 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 no. Let's call it a wash. Let's just wash out. All no, I don't it. think it's a wash. This is a new start. I mean, I think, I think <laughs> the lesson learned is that you know, as far as putting on like a large scale event for their fans, um, they are, I wouldn't say like super good at it because again, you know, it wasn't an amazing event by any means, but speak for yourself. It was, it was fine. And it's yeah. like in the past they did those like basketball charity events, um, which, you know, that takes some organizational skill to put on a show at Staples Center or whatever. So, yeah, I, I don't think that they're as far as like just outright ripping their fans off, but are they <coughs> well they did have the one like the what was it, the Ace College or whatever? It's where the sound bite where he's like in reality, reality you guys, you got, guys scammed. got scammed. Oh, you know what I would scummy. be willing to do because of this Ace event? Academy. Scam Ace Academy, yeah, Ace there you scam go. Am Ace Scam Ace Scamity. Mm. What I would be willing to do, and I'm just gonna float this out there. If Austin, if they want to call in or come on the show, they'll never do that. I would love to have a <laughs> candid conversation with them about all this stuff. And since I'm like, listen, this event was legit, was not a scam, then maybe y'all can can speak some truth uh, in your defense to the other accusations. I just want, I would love an official statement about how much money for charity was raised at their basketball event. That's one of the questions I would definitely ask them. Yeah, because selling out Staples Center and then donating what was it like five fifty thousand? <laughs> was it fifty? It's been yeah, so long. yeah. Was, they said a hundred thousand. They gave fifty. Selling out Staples Center and they had super expensive food. They they definitely raised millions. Right. So and donated that, fifty thousand. A very damned. very scamily. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, all that aside, we went to report on Ace Fest. Ace Fest was all right. <laughs> there yep. you go. It was all right. How about Hopefully. that, huh? So unexpected. Scamily. 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 Nobody's you guys are in on that. We, we, oh, we stay in Austin. Stop! One last note that I want to say, because I actually just saw somebody say, you know, fuck the whole like family channel thing, which, yeah, true. Um, I actually went into this thinking probably like the, gr like, Scams aside, like the grossest part of all of this was like you're gonna do a fucking meet and greet with your kids, mm -hmm. the Ace family, because it was like being presented as a meet and greet with the Ace family. Their kids, as far as any of us could tell, were not present at the event, which good for them. Like, <laughs> good. Yeah. Don't don't bring your kids to meet a bunch of strangers. Like, that would be pretty cr crazy to bring kids. To yeah, that. which they didn't do anything like that. It was just Austin and Catherine, which like. Good. Leave leave the kids out of this. The kids Let, used to come oh. up and reach in the pool. And also, I just want to note real quick, when a lot of people are showing these empty pictures of the uh, fair, it was because the meet and greet went from outside to indoors. Mm -hmm. Probably because mm -hmm. it was too hot. But was there was, hot. yeah, there was, majority of the people were inside probably at that time whenever That's those photos were point. taken. Yeah, those videos of like, you know, not many people around, it was because all their fans were lined up inside mm -hmm. trying to get photos with them or and whatever there's a shitload of people photos, in there shit ton yeah yeah those photos were also like right when it opened up too so yeah. i don't know if everybody mm -hmm. piled in at that point or anything but it was right when the event started i mean right when we pulled in we saw how many commentary channels were just when we rolled up so yeah um what was the bathroom situation like uh I they had portable bathrooms, bathrooms but also what was it? In the uh, meet and greet section, there was like indoor bathrooms. Yeah, there were bathroom there. facilities and then there were also porta potties. There are people saying that the kids were there in the morning before they moved it indoors. Um, okay, well, maybe the kids were there at some point. They weren't there when we were there, so. Well, there you have it. And, and you know, a uh, very unexpected outcome. Now, obviously, I have to give a, a, an honorable mention to Deaf Noodles, who went all out 
He went for it. He gave me the IDubs needing Tana kind of vibes. Yeah. I mean, obviously a lot less extreme, let's be frank, but you know, shout out to, to all the homies. Dennis is like huge, by the way. He's a big ass fucking dude. Yeah, he was like 10 people ahead of us. Um, I'm pretty sure this is why they made you turn off the cameras, but yeah, Dennis went for it. He live streamed it, and um, well, here it is. All right. Oh, yeah. He said, how do I learn to scam as good as you guys? So he really went for it. He didn't come to be funny. Come on, let's have a look. I'm a fan. Come on, let's have a look. No, for real. Come on, let's have a look. Come on, let's have a look. Have a look. I want to be a scammer. I'm for real. Can I be a scammer like you? Did you guys see this go down? What happened? Later? Literally, we, I was watching him on his live stream. He's 10 people ahead of us. <laughs> it's a little bit lagged. And I saw, I was like, oh shit. And I turned my back because I didn't want people, because we were talking the whole way in line, like interviewing him and going back and forth. Um, but yeah, I was definitely a little scared that they would recognize that we were together. Um, you know what was interesting? I saw you guys with Dennis in back in Ace Fest, just not in the meet and greet FEMA uh, emergency camp. Mm -hmm. And um, they didn't kick him out of the festival. Just no, out of the meet he was and greet. right out those doors. How about that, yeah. huh? They didn't even kick him out. They didn't kick him out. They just said, move along. Idiot. There you have it, Idiot. guys. So Ace Fest turn was not as, it kind of went off uh, without a hitch. I had so a smile. goddamn, dude. I had a smile on my face all day yesterday editing it, too. There you go. I was just reading, Austin is actually from Palmdale. So maybe he does. That have motherfucker some. is from Palmdale. Yeah, so maybe he has some kind of. I forget who told to me that or whatever. Maybe it was even Def mentioned that he had heard that or. Also, I forget, but I, I heard from somebody that the McBrooms had some connection to that venue. Okay. Also, Ace Hat, their company is registered out there, and that's where their offices are. Palmdale. Yeah. Jesus. He was just from there originally, I guess. Okay, well, shout the fuck out, dude. They made it happen. Yeah. Represent. There you go. I mean, we went there going to hate. We went there to hate, but we just couldn't do it. Thank you, member berries, for uh, 50 gifted. Stuff. I think that one might actually be somebody different. Yeah, that might be someone new. Member berries. It's my birthday, and a new episode is the perfect. <laughs> so that's that. Um, shout out. So open invitation to the, to the McBrooms. And that's that. And that's that.